hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to my worst figure of 2021 review um i could just pick one of these pieces of garbage so um i'm gonna rename this as the worst or the most disappointing line of 2021 instead and then that covers all of these um i i I, I really hate these figures. I really do. And I know other people love them and I just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing what they're seeing. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm a massive Beast Wars fan and maybe other people are more casual fans of Beast Wars. Maybe it's that, but I just, I don't get why people like them. I can't, I just I I don't see it. I think they're awful. So all right, let me let me run this down quickly then. So um, Megatron was one of the first ones I got this year. Well, I um, no actually Cheetor came out first, didn't he? Um, Zort Rider and I did a sort of a, a best to worst of Wave One of Kingdom. Um, Megatron was the last. <laughs> it was. And it's not because his robot mode is bad. His robot mode is actually pretty good. I'm all right with his robot mode. It's his dino mode. It's awful. It looks terrible. It doesn't tab together properly. And the worst, most egregious issue with it is this, this, this horrible rubbery, stuff that they've put over the top of it i can tell you now that is not going to last five years let alone 20 like my original figures have lasted if this figure still looks like that in five years i will eat one of my cats and i'm vegan <laughs> so i i know it's it's just awful robot mode okay i will i will give it the robot mode the robot mode looks it looks fine but i mean look you can even see look it's all it's already starting to this this rubbery stuff it's already starting to bend and fold that's why this bit isn't bent back because every time i try and bend this back it tries to peel this piece off the, the, it's just too tight this bit that's why it's like that i know it's mistransformed it's because i cannot transform it without trying to rip this but without this bit ripping this bit off so, all right, that's Megatron aside. And I know I haven't bought all of the figures down. Honestly, this video would go on for like three hours if I bought them all down and nitpicked them all. But part of it isn't nitpicking. I, I get the nitpicking. I get some of the things that I might say are nitpicks to other people. But to me, it's just... <laughs> all right, so let's go back a bit further. Cheetor. This Cheetor. It's just, it's it's ugly. It's ugly. Um, from the waist up, it's all right, I guess. It's fine. I absolutely hate this, though, where this peg goes up into the cheetah mouth. No, don't like that at all. Um, but the worst thing for me is this. This beast mode leg and paw just hanging out on the front. Why? This is so lazy. This is so lazy, Hasbro. You can't fold the feet at the back because they won't tab in. Again, that is a nitpick. I will say that is a nitpick. Um, the way it transforms, you have to have this horrible piece of what almost looks like flashing on the, on the side of the hand there. Again, it's just lazy. The face sculpt is all right it's it's not great it's all right um and these feet what the hell were they thinking with these feet they're tiny and they're ugly so that's it for the robot mode um so this is the same figure obviously in its beast mode and yeah the beast mode's better i'll i'll say that the beast mode's better um i mean at least on this cheetor mold these pieces although they're not great in robot mode i think they could have folded them somehow but at least it fills in this bit here which the tigertron mold doesn't do 
but you've got the robot mode feet sticking out the back of the legs. Come on, Hasbro, you could have done better than this. This is awful. This is one reason why I didn't buy the Ravage one, because it's the same mould and it's a crap mould. It looks awful. I don't like it. I mean, it's 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 fine, I guess, but I just I don't like it. It's those feet sticking out the back. Everything that's wrong with the robot mode is still pretty crap in the beast mode i'm not gonna rant about that big green piece of shite at the back again because that if i have to pick one of the worst figures of this year it's that piece of garbage just awful figure horrible so all right then i have reviewed this i haven't put it up yet honestly not sure if i'm going to because i hate this one as well um again i thought Oh, maybe they'll fix that feet hanging out the front. No, they're still there. Robot mode feet. Absolutely hideous. Ugly robot mode feet. Oh, I haven't turned them out. Hold on. You have to take those out as well. And that makes it look even worse. Because now it looks like he's got a pair of hands hanging out the back of his feet. I mean, the rest of the robot mode is actually all right on this one. Although, I I don't know why they didn't make it so you could peg these in. Because the, the side pieces don't peg in. So, every time I move that arm, it just, just comes out again. Um, the sculpt work is quite nice. I mean, I will give it the sculpt work on all of them is quite nice. So, whoever did the sculpting, I'll give them some props. But... Um, that's about as good as it gets with these figures. I just can't forgive these feet hanging out the front. I can't. It's just ugly. It's just so ugly. And then I, I don't have the other version of this. And I honestly can't be asked to transform this back again. Because I, I don't even know if I'm going to put this on display. In its, uh, in its beast mode. Where this one at least fills out here. No such... No such luxury on this one. Did, that's how it looks. In, in fact, let's just... So that's... You'd have the foot down like that. And again, you push that through there. The robot mode foot is hanging out the back again. And that is how it stays. There is nothing that fills in that bit. Again, it's just ugly. It's ugly and it's lazy. And do you know how much this piece of shite cost me? 35 quid taking a mick they really are i'm tempted to send this one back anyway because it's got a really wefty eye and that's not helping that's not, that's not helping how, how angry i am about this and um and the most recent piece of garbage is this what can i say about this i'm so gutted because i needed a waspinator i needed an updated waspinator and I thought, well, this one's going to be good. This one's going to be good, right? Surely they can't screw up Waspinator. <laughs> yeah, no, they can't. Though. Just every time I touch him, it falls apart. Well, he's not going to do it now. But in my main review, this just keeps falling apart. Every time I pick him up, it falls apart. I think it's um, it's not doing it now because it's actually baking. Um, in my dining room at the minute. My mum's my quite elderly and she has to have the heating up to like magma degrees of heat. Um, so it's baking in here, so that's probably why it's not doing it now. But in my, my main review, you'll see every time I touch this bloody thing, it falls apart. And it's so annoying because all they needed to do was to put two little tabs either side of this big tab so you could just slide it in like that. And something on the head that you could. It was such a simple solution, Hasbro. Why the hell didn't you do it? For God's sake. It's so frustrating. I'm so gutted. I'm so gutted. I thought after all these years. They've had 30 odd years. Since what? 1996. They've had 30 odd years. To 
update those Beast Wars figures that we got back then. And this was the best they could do. All the money at Hasbro's... Um, I forgot the word now. <laughs> disposal. All the money at Hasbro's disposal. This was the best they could do. I'm not saying they were all bad because Air Razor and Silver Bolt and Black Arachnia, those figures are great. I, I have very little issue with those figures. And it's weird because those are the figures that other people seem to have issue with. So, I don't know. Clearly, clearly, we got it. You know, uh, we're, 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 we're all different people. We all have different opinions. So, yeah, I'm not expecting everybody to agree with me on this. And, I, you know, it's perfectly valid if you think all these figures are amazing. You know, go for it. I'm really happy for you. But for me, all of these figures suck so bad. And I put so much money into them. And I really wish I hadn't. I really wish I hadn't started. And um, honestly, at this point, I'm very tempted just to sell the lot. I wish I'd kept the boxes for them, um, but I didn't. I got rid of them because I was going to keep them. But I, um, I'm i very tempted to sell them because they're just not bringing me any joy. I, Every time I look at them, I just, I just think how crap they are. I mean... <laughs> I, I bought some really cheap, crappy animal transformers from TK Maxx and they were like four quid each. Some of them are better than this. I'm not even joking. I'm genuinely not even joking. Articulation aside, obviously the articulation on those is pretty poor, but the, the actual beast modes and the robot modes actually don't look that bad. Especially when you consider how much we've paid for 35 quid for this. 35 uh, yeah, all right, guys. Well, I'm I'm gonna go because I don't want this turning into too much of a rant. I just wanted to say that um, Hasbro, nah, just stop it. If you're not gonna do Beast Wars characters any justice, just stop doing them because I'm gonna stop buying them for sure because they're just they're just bad. I'll go to Transart. They're doing amazing work with Beast Wars figures, just outstanding and. Honestly, the Transart figure, the two Transart figures I bought this year, um, actually, well, the, the two smaller ones, the sort of this size one, the Voyager sort of size one, they were cheaper than this. They were cheaper than this and they were better. So, all right, that's it. Anyway, thanks for listening to me for the last 13 minutes. I'm off now. Um, I have one more video upcoming and it is the best figure I bought in 2021. I wonder if you can guess what it is. I think you probably can. But um, I'll see you in that video. And as always, thank you for watching. Do take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.